Anyway, all right, we rolling? We're rolling. We're rolling this morning, Roll Highlands. Justin and I are up super early for this video of 4710 St. Andrew's Arc. We're gonna want you to guess the price at the end, so put your comments below. We love the comments, and we're gonna do a little bit better of a job on this video, we're gonna try. There were some comments, Justin, that we need to slow down, look at the floors more. Did you see the comments? Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna answer the crowds, man. They're, they're, they're giving us feedback, and we're gonna go with that. Um, so Justin will, I still have to be in the videos, guys. You know, I'm the one talking, but we will make sure that we slow down just a little bit so you can see the features of the property. You know what it was too? What? I saw that comment. I have a much wider lens this time. Oh, nice. So that's what it was. I had a too tight of a lens and I was just pushing okay. in on you. Well, there you go. But now we got a wider lens and you're getting the full. Yes, brilliant. Angles. It's all about the feedback. Yep. So we're gonna go inside this 3-2 uh, Windsor model home. Again, make sure that you comment below. We just had a price reduction on this Ooh. one. Yeah. Take a look. And I'll say right off the bat. Yes. Great curb appeal. Oh, thank you. Great they, curb appeal. Yeah, the seller's daughter is involved in this one and she did. She was really um, particular about how that looked because yeah. she does real estate up in the Atlanta area. It looks phenomenal. Thank you. All right, so this one was freshly painted and we got rid of those emerald green, you know, those uh, the Pringle countertops that went in, the, I think it was a cultured marble um, that went in back in the late 90s early 2000 this one let me look really quick this one was built in 2002 so i guess we were still picking emerald green the wizard of oz was probably very popular that year <laughs> emerald city and she put in these gorgeous more neutral granite countertops that take you straight across the bar if you remember in a windsor model this is usually a, a, a high bar and you can put probably five or six stools across here. So we've dropped down the sight line, made it more modern, added new sink, faucet, um, prep area over there. And I can show you actually the pantry space. There's a couple pantry, uh, there's the pantry cabinet and then more of a pantry Ooh. closet. Yeah. Yeah. And I always love these because you can put your spices, yep. you know, face them all forward, put them in alphabetical order, whatever makes it Definitely easy for you. Definitely enough room for yeah. a little. Now I'm going to point out, um, this house, when you think of the pricing, the windows are original. And I, I'm just going to show this. This is what can end up happening. They're still functioning, but this home is going to eventually need somebody to put windows in. It's not a, a you know, an if it's gonna need windows, it's a when it's gonna need windows. So right now they're functioning, they're not leaking, nothing's going on. This is just what happens with these single pane windows over time. And so we have allotted for that space in the price for the new owner to come in and pick their windows. Again, the pantry cabinet, and then all white appliances, Royal Highlands a gas community, but some people elect to cook on the electric ranges could switch it out because the garage is right over there and you could bring the gas over but definitely move in ready yeah right Got the it was freshly there. painted on the inside too you said what's that it was freshly painted on the inside yes the too. entire yeah. even the closets everything in this house interior wise has been painted yeah so i'm going to take you to do the guest area first big vaulted ceilings yes windsor Super is known spacious. for that yeah, and the Windsor's also, this one has really pretty floors too. Yeah. It's like an engineered um, wood down here, beautiful. These, some people ask me what these are for. This is if you want to arrange your furniture where you have either a reclining sofa or a plug-in recliner um, chair or little table lamps, that's your electricity so you're not running something under a rug to an outlet, right? And then, the Windsor is also the, the um, model that if you don't prefer formal dining, this could be the model for you. If you like formal dining, it, uh, it's, it's a struggle for folks. So they've got two ceiling fans. Some will drop a chandelier and try to set some kind of a table up over here and have this be the living room, but then you're really making that family room space small. 
there's plenty of room to set up a nice little table in front of that, that bow window and um, eat right there. Yeah. Yeah. Split floor, floor plan. Split floor plan. You got the pocket door. Ooh, love Slow that. Slow it down. <laughs> Just kidding. It <laughs> was a great comment. I love this front bedroom. The Windsor, known for its closets. So you'll typically, unless they've made some kind of a huge modification, you'll see double bank of closets in both guest yeah. suites. Mm -hmm. And I, this is such a neat detail too, to bump this out. Just Yeah, a little extra architect. room. Yep, a little extra room, a little architecture. You've got that um, little bit of a vault. And yeah. then the back bathroom kind of mimics the front one. Slight vault, a little bit smaller. Yeah, but well, it doesn't have that indent, but you got access to the yeah pattern. access to the to the uh, lanai out there, and a really super clean guest yeah. bath, right? Cultured marble top, and then they elected to put in a new shower at some point. All right, so Windsor model. Here's the other thing, the other detail about the Windsor. This is typically the laundry room. Huh. So this is a walk-in closet. They elected to do that. Wasn't a big deal for them to put the washer and dryer on the back side of this wall. So the beauty of it is if somebody wanted to bring the laundry back in, this is where the hookups are mm -hmm. um, on the other side. So we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. And then another we've got the pocket. another pocket. Yeah, the pockets are great. Yeah. It just gives you a lot more space. It does. And I know I just went around and put those little clear things on my walls because I just had the interior of my house painted and the locks on doors that swing open yeah. will gouge my walls. So I just put, put a bunch of those up around. Now, the, this is a great space. So one of the modifications in this Windsor was they expanded yeah. the, right, the primary suite for like a little sitting area. This home is also virtually staged by Devore Designs and they did create that space in here when, when they did the media. All right, the bathroom is all original, but clean as a whistle. So you've yep. got the cultured marble tops, dual vanities, big mirror, you've got the fluorescence here maybe to contend with, the soaker tub, no jets, but um, certainly a, you know, the, the, the tub. And it's in a cultured marble. I've shared in the past that I've had my cultured marble, which was pink and rose or something. Um, I had a charcoal gray glazing put on mine because I just wasn't ready to get rid of the, the soaker Culture tub. Cultured marble shower. It's cultured marble shower. That's shower. kind of nice because sometimes you see just like that white yeah. tiling, you know yeah. what I mean? So the culture marble is nice. It is. It's just, a, I think it's a little cleaner look, yeah. right? Or it looks like lower maintenance if nothing else. <laughs> check out the garage and then we'll go on yeah. the floor into the lanai. All right, this has a, I think it's like a 24 or 25 foot garage, width and length. Um, again, here's your washer dryer hookup. This is that slash office walk-in closet yeah. stuff. And then some cabinetry with the utility sink. The chest freezer is here and then pretty much everything is out. Everything's out of the attic. We are ready to make this one somebody's home. It's, it's ready to go. It's been cleaned a couple times just because we've had the contractors here. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yes, yeah, things ready to go. Yeah, so we'll look at the lanai and then we'll do some stats. These also, I noticed. Yes. Yeah. Right? They go all the way. That's nice. Yep. This is a, this is a really good size yeah. lanai. Mm -hmm. And only because I've had a couple interested buyers, the, the lot line, it goes deep out here. You've, this property has more property out back than that property across from us. Right, uh, yeah. So, right, it's not a lot premium, so consider that when you're doing your price point, when you're picking your price. What's cool about that is, I don't know, maybe a pool could be added, maybe you could bird cage and put on something bigger. I mean, that house there goes back further. Yeah. And this one too, I mean, we're set a little closer to the road probably, but ultimately this has a great backyard and you could do more with it, I think, with arc approval. Yeah. Tinted glass on the sliders and 
You could even enclose this. You could make this a four season Florida room and you'd easily have the 300 patio. more square feet. Yeah. And then the patio, if you want to put your grill out there. Yeah, I would maybe look, make to look this a Florida room. Yeah. I would look to make this a Florida yeah, room. Yeah, a lot of Windsors do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so 4710 St. Andrews Arc. We just had a price reduction. Here are the stats. We were built in 2002. We have 1,836 square feet of under air living space. That doesn't include that lanai that Justin and I were hanging out in. Um, we're not on a lot premium, standard lot here because we have rear neighbors. However, right across the street, I don't know if you'll end up panning out, but between those houses is absolutely gorgeous conservation. So we're in close proximity to the wetlands and, and then heading back toward the um, amenity center. The house has a 2011 HVAC, a 2023 hot water heater, a 2015 roof, and brand new granite in the kitchen, and all interior paint has been completed. 3-2, slightly enlarged garage, laundry is in the garage. So based on that, knowing that you would eventually have to maybe put some windows in, where are we at? How many square feet? 1836. 1836. When was the roof? What's the roof? 15. 15 roof, 11 AC, mm -hmm. original windows, fantastic curb appeal. Yes. 325. We are at 339.9. Okay. Close. Yeah. Very close. Yeah. Yep. Yep, we were, we were about 10 higher than that. Um, but it sat for 30 days and so we're motivated. So at 339.9, I think it's a steal. Yeah. Move in ready, clean as a whistle. So again, subscribe. We want to see the subscribers. We want to put you in touch with realtors if you're coming into Florida or you're already here and you're looking at 55 plus communities. So check out Explore, keep tuning in and we'll see you on the next one.